First, we need to open the Mimic PC website. Just type mimicpc.com into your browser's address bar, and you'll be taken to the platform. Once you're on the website, you'll see a list of available iApps. Find Automatic 1111 and click on it to proceed. If you want to learn more details, welcome to visit our website tutorial hub. Next, click the launch button, and Automatic 1111 will start directly in your browser. We recommend users to use the medium bargain version, which is cheaper than the instant version has similar performance. However, in order to save time in this demonstration, and we choose to use the large pro hardware. Now you're all set to start generating images. It usually takes about 30 seconds to load the data. Once automatic 1111 opens you'll see the txt to ing interface. This is where the magic happens. You can choose any checkpoint you want to use. In this section, you can enter any descriptive text, and the system will generate an image based on that text. In addition to telling the eye what you want you can also provide negative prompts to specify what you don't want in your image. For example, your positive prompt might be, one girl, long hair, red dress, standing in front of a castle, and a negative prompt could be, low quality, multiple girls, faceless. We choose to use the Keras method here to generate higher quality images by gradually adjusting the noise then set sampling steps to 30. Once you've configured your settings and click generate, you'll see your prompt come to life as a stunning image. This is the power of automatic 1111 and stable diffusion. Finally, you can find all results in file greater than output. You can also choose to download the image from the result window. The details of the image will be shown below. In addition to typing your prompt, you can also customize some parameters to fine-tune your image. For instance, if you want a portrait image you can set the width to 512 pixels and the height to 768 pixels. We can also try other checkpoints to complete the same prompt. Let's see what will happen next. It is not difficult to see that the same text prompt can generate completely different styles of images using different checkpoints. The above is automatic 1111's explanation about text to image. Let's explore the applications of image to image technology. One example is transforming real photos into cartoons using stable diffusion offers higher accuracy and a larger defining space. This means you can upload an image of an object and type prompts describing a human allowing for object anthropomorphism. The results can be quite interesting. In essence, repainting involves structurally analyzing the pixels of the reference image making the final output similar to the original image. Today, we used Mimic PC and Automatic 1111 to effortlessly create our very first AI image. Whether you're a beginner or an AI art enthusiast, this platform allows you to focus on creativity without worrying about the technical details. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be sharing more AI tools and tips in future tutorials.